Hi friends, welcome back to All in Law. Today I'm going to talk about toxic synovitis. Our channel is dedicated for medical students or doctors or physicians who are appearing for USMLE or any other medical board examination around the globe. So guys, we'll be discussing this later to this examination pattern. So any kind of treatment, any kind of treatment you're doing on yourself or on others is not advised. You have to see your physician and consult the physician and take the treatment from him. Okay, so here toxic synovitis is a very brief, small topic. It's nothing but, it's nothing but, it's a, what you call, it's an irritable hip. irritable hip what happens is usually after soon after what you call after um, upper respiratory infection due to viral infections okay so after that the patient will have pain in his uh, what you call um, hip uh, especially it, it is usually unilateral okay and the painful limp is unable to walk also and okay so these things you will see soon after what you call uh, post uh, a respiratory tract infection. So remember, what's the etiology of this is? Exact cause is not known actually. And the other thing is that if often follows an upper respiratory tract infection, upper respiratory tract infection. So it's a viral infection, so maybe some immunological reactions takes place. So soon after following an upper respiratory tract infection, the patient will develop the what you call unilateral hip pain. Unilateral hip pain. And because of this pain, sometimes the patient is unable to walk. Okay, painful limp. And usually remember there will be no fever. The temperature, the body temperature will be normal. Means in USMLE or in, in, the, in the MRCPCH examinations, if they give the history of he had a prostate infection one week ago or a few days back, and now he has developed the pain in his joints and everything is normal, just he is unable to walk, no fever, because fever indicates septic arthritis, right? So you have to be cautious because you have to differentiate this disease from septic arthritis. That's really very important because the treatment is totally different. Okay. So diagnosis, how do you diagnose? The diagnosis is usually exclusion. Even if you take what you call x-rays, it will be normal. X-rays will be normal, okay? So any plain film do not diagnose or exclude the hip effusion. So the patient will have effusion, right? So this is about what you call the um, diagnosis of this um, simple disease, uh, toxic synovitis. synovitis. Okay, so how do you manage? First, what you have to do is rule out whether it's a septic arthritis or not, right? Septic arthritis. Rule out whether it's a septic arthritis is there or not, okay? And you can start with the NSAIDs. NSAIDs, that is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Okay, and supported therapy. Okay, and usually within weeks, a few weeks, he will recover or she will recover. So this is all about the brief discussion about the toxic synovitis. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.